Welcome back to my channel where we explore the latest trend and innovation in technology. Today we are going to talk about a new AI, Pliant AI, with whose power AI technology is coming to the third dimension. Here you can generate objects, animations and textures using prompts. It is in an alpha version right now so you can join the waitlist till it gets the final release. Hi, I'm Abhinav Jaisal from AI Dynamics. Let's get started. First of all, go to Google and write Spline AI and click on the first link. It will take you to the landing page. Click on get started. The registration page will come up. Enter your email address and click on continue. And alternatively, you can directly sign up with Google. Once you enter your email, you'll get a verification code into your registered email ID. Enter the code and it will ask for some basic details. Now, you need to fill up this info like name and answer very basic questions. Spline provides team collaboration where you can add up to three email IDs of your team members where they can easily collaborate with you in production. Like you can see, they have made us available some basic tutorial which I'll be explaining in detail in the upcoming videos. Also, it has some pre-made examples so I'm going to showcase few of it. Like you can see on the screen is a pre-built art and you can check how easy it is to add new assets or play with the ones which are available. You can use your creative ideas to generate new arts according to your requirement. Also, Spline is coming to your rescue with a prompt builder. Just like Medjani, you can write your prompt and it will give a result of what you have entered. Let's take a look at another example of Kids Playground. You can see how easy it is to play with it. They are providing super plan for just $9 per month, where you will be able to get benefits like unlocking sound library, generate textures with AI, removing logo from the exported codes and many more. Now for exporting, you can see the export button at the top. After making your art, you can export it in either in 3D file format, JPG or even MP4. I'm trying MP4 for now. And here is the result. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for more contents like this. Also, if you want to know more about Mid Journey AI, I have explained in great detail in this video playlist. Be sure to check it out. See you in next video till then. Bye-bye.